So after G2, we're skipping a couple generations and going Armada. And sort of unintentionally, this is a not sponsored by Tubi thing, but Tubi has quite a lot of Transformers shows on it. Like from G1 to Beast Wars to the whole Unicron trilogy. Sorry, R.I.D. 2001. The Prime and Animated. Yeah, Armada. I decided to start watching. Because the only memory I have of Armada was like the first episode where Megatron appeared. That's about it. I'm 10 episodes in at this point, and it's about what you expect. The early 2000s of cringe, basically. The human characters aren't super annoying. They're just very annoying. Brad, Carlos, and Alexis. Alexis is all right. She's much less annoying than Brad. Because at this point, whenever he does the intros, I just skip. But... It's prime time. Here's his box. Nice artwork of the super robot. There's the evolution. I have sworn they kept the Armada logo, but not on this one. More than meets the eye. Hmm. All right. Well. Hey, box. This is Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime. There we go. And I think this guy was a big deal. He, it's kind of a big deal because it feels like this was the first time they went back to a G1 style truck. It's not the exact same truck. Because if we pull out the Earthrise Optimus Prime. But it has that G1 feeling. You know what I mean? Like. The red cab with the blue legs. It, it does its own thing, but it still kind of has that vibe to me. And no, R.I.D. doesn't count, because Optimus was a fire truck. Completely different vehicle. This is red cab, blue legs. That's G1 Optimus Prime. And due to transformation, a, a GER truck. truck that can walk. Yeah, let's take a look. I like this truck. The wheels are nice and big, roll very nicely. You want to talk about the elephant in the room? Eh, let's just ignore it for right now. Let's talk about the other hands that are visible in this mode right here. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that. But it's a good looking truck. Grill right up front. Big nose. One elephant that we absolutely have to talk about. Yeah. I've had this toy since Fanaticon. Shouts out to the Robot Scrapyard for selling me this. And both of the shins have snapped off. I don't know if it's just an issue with the plastic or if it's just such a thin part that a lot of pulling up and pushing down and pulling up and pushing down caused them both to snap off. Uh, I hope it's not a ubiquitous problem. I hope it's just mine. 
I don't know. They don't de uh, destroy the transformation or the figure for me. Like, he can still transform properly. It's just you peel off his shins or his uh, biceps. So, it's not a super big problem. I just hope it doesn't happen to anybody else. It just kind of sucks. I want to talk about the other hands. Those are actually hilarious. The mode we'll get into later. Uh, comparisons. Anything else? The only other Armada toy that came out before this. Uh, 2012, 2013, Generations, Armada Star Scream. This is not a fair comparison. This toy is pretty much 10 years old. Uh, old Armada toys that I actually have. Incomplete. This is Power Link's Demolisher, apparently. Again, I've only seen 10 episodes in so far. I know of Power Links, but I haven't seen this deco. He's incomplete. And this is the Cybertron version, technically. Cybertron Buzzsaw, but this is the Armada Cyclonus mold. Which was uh, remolded to fit Cyber Planet keys for Cybertron. But, yeah, technically an Armada mold. Alright. Cyclonus. He does have, just like the G1 toy, a trailer. And this trailer has foregone anything resembling subtlety. Like, compared to the original, again, the Earthrise, it's like, oh, God, it is gigantic. Like tank treads, and I kind of wish these things locked in place. They have a tendency to mm, push backwards, but for a transformation, like there's a robot crotch just right here on the back. Like, although, I don't know if you'd know that was a robot crotch if I didn't tell you about it. Oh, yeah. It does have the classic Optimus Prime truck line. With massive Autobot symbols. And possibly the biggest fusion can No, fusion cannon is Megatron. Possibly the biggest ion blaster I've ever seen. Ion cannon. Optimus Prime's gun. Like that is. Uh, not much else to do with it right now. It can roll on these wheels. You can plug it in to that port. Which doesn't really... You get that much of a turning axis, though. And the gun can plug in other places. Plug in on the back of him, like that. Plug into the side. It's just way too big. Coincidentally, is what she said. Plugs into what will be the bottom of his feet. We shall transform Optimus Prime. The first time. And to do that, I'm going to start by peeling off his shins, pulling down his feet, and plugging his shins back in. I hope it's not too painful, sir. Yeah. Now we can. One's not. Hmm. Yeah, they're. Oh, yeah, they don't really. Pe eh, they do kind of peg into the fists, but not very well, evidently. Anyway, we're going to split the legs. 
rotate the wheels down. They're going to tab in right there. You can split the, uh, what is the robot skirt armor? Yep. Four places there. Fold these down. These will obviously be his arms. Rotate the fist forward. Take down. And then we're going to take these chunks, panels, I guess, and fold them yeah, there. Take the main front, fold it down to form his chest panel. And that's one thing I absolutely love about this. Uh, prime design, it doesn't try and use a fake grill to differentiate between the vehicle mode and the robot mode. It just straight up uses the grill from the truck mode. Although, very early on in episode one, he does have a Cybertron mode, which does use like the, the windows for his uh, tits. Much more classic G1 style. And I'm guessing some people might like that. I don't know if they're ever going to make a toy of the Cybertron version. But anyway, I folded down his shoulders and he's done. Very simple transformation, but effective. Like it creates a very nice robot. I like this version of Optimus Prime. Voiced by Gary Chalk, I believe. Not the... Uh, not Frank Welker. I, oh my god, am I blanking so hard? Cullen, Peter Cullen. The G1 voice actor. Movie voice actor. Done Optimus in other shows. But I think Gary Chalk did... Did Gary Chalk do Beast Wars? Did he do Primal? Yep, he did Primal. Okay. Yeah, that's why his voice sounds so familiar. He did Primal. All right. And I believe Cybertron? I don't remember about Energon. Right. Let's take a look at his face. Unfortunately, the paint has not survived by constant play. A bit of scuffing on his uh, mouth plate. I do like the sunken in yellow eyes. Kind of give him a uh, kind of vibe. Like, uh, I, well, maybe not that kind of vibe, but like a different vibe than G1 Optimus Prime. Uh, the smokestacks on his hands, I like because they're, I imagine they're optional guns. Just fist weapons like GoBots. Ooh, am I allowed to mention the GoBots? Am I gonna get, <laughs> gonna get spam? Like, don't mention the GoBots. How dare you? Eh, no. Don't people love GoBots anymore? At this point, can we stop? Can Transformers fans stop hating on GoBots? Uh, it's surprising that his Autobot symbol. Ends up upside down on his back. Like you'd think when he'd have one somewhere on the front of him. Also, this panel slides. Why? I still have not figured out a purpose. It also rotates and comes off. <laughs> Again, why? Um, something I like that's not classic to Optimus Prime is all the gold bits. On the uh, thigh armor, the little bit on his forearms, right above his wrists, right here. Like, there's a nice amount of gold. It beats, like, uh, Optimus's regular silver or just yellow highlights. Uh, but what kind of Optimus Prime would he be if he didn't carry the Matrix? Oh, because this panel is... Two layer. There we go. Open up his chest, and you've got it kind of hard to 
Get out of their matrix. This is the Armada matrix. Looks very different than the G1 version. Uh, can I do a comparison? Prime, you got a matrix. Can I get that? Yep. Kind of. Yeah. Come out. There we go. Uh, this is really hard size comparison. There you go. G1 Armada. Very different matrix designs. But also like the G1, spoiler alert, Optimus Prime in Armada dies and comes back. So. Who knows, maybe we'll get a dead repaint of this. <laughs> Probably not, because Commanders cost over 100 bucks, And it feels like they very rarely do repaints of them. Uh, Articulation-wise, shoulders, universal, can go out all the way here. And a little bit here, because this transformation joint does not lock in. So you got out. And you can have him hit himself in the face. Doe! Or... Uh, he's... Uh, what's something early 2000s that you would be doing? <laughs> uh, goes all the way around. You do have a bicep swivel. You do have a forward and backwards elbow. You have a neck that's on a ball joint has very nice range although i feel like i have to grab his ears antenna horns something to use it but it can go up and down a little bit wobble side to side wrists have a joint they can rotate waist the only unfortunate uh, due to transformation, he really doesn't have a waist swivel in this mode. If you try and do it, yeah, uh, well, uh, I'm hesitant to refer to that as a waist swivel. But his hips. Perfectly fine and ratcheted. Not outwards, but they hold enough tight on their friction joint. This will come into play later. Thigh swivel. Very nice. Ratcheted knee both ways. Again, partly for another mode, but yep, you can bend his knee 90 degrees. And his ankle can pivot. His toes can bend down. His toes can bend up. Yep, his toes can bend up. So. That's very good articulation. Uh, yeah, the only thing is the waist swivel. It's unfortunate, but given the other thing this toy does, I am willing to give it a pass. I understand it was a necessity to limit that, so I'm willing to forgive it slightly. Before we do size comparisons, uh, let's actually stick this Ion Blaster in his hand. If it is still called the Ion Blaster in Armada. And yeah, that looks properly uber gigantic. And a lot of detail, but none of it's picked out in paint. It's just all black plastic. There you go. It almost looks oversized for his hand, but given he's the leader of the Autobots, he definitely has the strength to light our darkest hour. Or possibly shoot Decepticons. Maybe. Anyway.
but this trailer also has an additional mode, a base mode, sort of. It did appear in the show in like one episode so far, and it's in the instructions, so if you just open up the instructions. Hey, look what I found in the instructions. Fuck this thing. It was in the show. And I guess it counts as a base or just a thing. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, right. Because it's. Ion Blaster. Plug it in. Not to this peg. I guess plug it there. Weapons platform. Something. Anyway. Let's move on. To robot node comparison. Uh, G1. Starscream. Demolisher. Powerlink's Demolisher. Yeah. Buzzsaw. AKA Cyclonus. There you go. So. We do have one other thing we can do. Oh, and I realized what this is for. We'll talk about that in a second. We've got a super robot. So, the best part about this being show accurate is feet become hands. So let's do that again. Fold that down. Rip that off. Hopefully yours isn't broken so you don't have to do that. Fold the foot up. Rotate the hand all the way out. And have that back into place. And if you want, you can fold the feet up to cover in the gaps. Handy. Footsie. Wait. And then we're going to want to bring up his panel. Let's go all the way right in front of his face. And bring his shoulders back into vehicle mode position, sort of. We're just going to leave him there. You can take the arm and rotate it back. No. Like that. Hold the fist if you feel like it. Do the same thing over here, and then the big split, and then the arms, which were formerly the arms, tab in to the gray sections. Tab in right in there. And then you can Collapse that panel. The same thing on the other side. Tab it in, collapse the panel. And then we're gonna bring down there, bring down right there, rotate it around. I just like to have the elbow slightly bent. And you've got an arm done. Down, down. Rotate, bend the elbow, and then the last step, flip open, flip up his head, and you've got half of a super robot. Just put that off to the side. Come back to this. I have to remember where we are in the... 
Fold these down. <clears throat> and have that. Bring this all the way down. Oh, yeah. I have to undo a lot of the stuff that went into the base mode, which is quite annoying, but temporary. Just to fold the foot down. I want to show off something before we <laughs> into the mode properly. Pull the heel down. And uh, rotate this all the way around. Oh. Ah. Swivel, rotate, fold up. Make sure that's uh, that's folded straight so this panel can come out. And then rotate this. Nope. Just fold that down in a second. Uh, what was I? I know what I was doing. Um, I might, at some points, do I even, am I even doing this properly? Now we're going to slide these back in. Sort of. Be because what I'm doing is referencing the original Armada animation. So then I'm bringing that back up. And there are two different ways you can attach the torso. You can either attach it straight down, which is animation model, accurate, or tab it in up here and then slide it down. We're just going to knock it down. And the the grill will hopefully fit into this backpack. Yep. Uh, tabs in right in there. And what you basically have is an accurate, sort of animation accurate. Oh, you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. How could I forget? We're going to take that out. Just pretend like we did. Animation accurate super mode of Armada Optimus Prime, but. We want articulation, right? So, split the legs, remove the gun, peg this back in place, rotate it around, fold it up, and there we have a proper super mode. That was a fun conversion. And the best part, I think, is you can do it from either robot or vehicle mode. And then you can transform him back while he's still attached to the legs. But that certainly amplifies the gold quantity. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the merman. Merman. What is with that head skull? I, I get the exhaust pipes as ears. But, like, once I heard the term merman, I can never unsee that. There's certainly a lot less red, at least in this mode, it feels like it. Like, the blue and the gray certainly uh, take over. And he's got quite a big backpack. But this may be a hot take. I think he does the Power of the Primes gimmick better than Power of the Primes. Especially better than Rodimus. Yeah. And just for the sake of it, because I probably have too many, here's Optimus. This is 
probably my favorite mode because so much ratcheting. Uh, head is on a ball joint, full rotation, shoulders, ratchet, and ratchet, and ratchet. Can I click it? You're goddamn right I can click it. Bicep swivel. Uh, this shoulder armor is the skirt, so you don't really want to open it, but you can. Eh, cover up your shoulders. Elbow. This is why the knee can go back and forth, because it becomes an elbow. All the way 90 degrees. He does have a wrist swivel on this brand new hand. Unfortunately, no finger articulation, just an opening hand. He's going to grab you. He's going to grab you. Now, he actually has a waist. If you pu pull up his skirt and slide that back down, he's got a waist swivel. That's rare for a super mode to actually give more articulation to a toy. More often than not, they just take away articulation, but hips, more of that beautiful ratcheting. Outward, no ratcheting, darn. But a full super Van Dam. Fly, swivel, oh yeah, you can go back that far. Knee. Oh. oh, listen to that. Ugh, cacophonous. Click. He does have an ankle tilt. And a heel bend. And not really a usable toe bend. Probably not. Overall, this super mode is great. Like it's absolutely probably the uh, the cherry on top kind of thing. You can give them the ion blaster, but you can also remove these. And because he's Evo Fusion, you can Evo Fuse them onto the gun. I guess this is literally the extent of his Evo Fusion gimmick. Because what does a gun need besides more guns? Like, I heard you like guns, so I gave you a gun that shoots guns. But in all this, have you noticed one thing's missing? Maybe the whole focal point of the show he was in? Uh, mini cons. Remember that Lord of the Rings meme? Potato? Yeah, he's kind of missing the meat, the meat and potatoes of the Armada toy line, the AK the Micron Legends. Kind of missing that Micron. Uh, it's nothing I can do about it, really, besides hope that they, re -re they release one at some point for him. But he also doesn't have any Minicon ports. At least that I noticed. So, like, in the show, his Minicon plugs into his shoulder, but he just has regular ports that don't fit a Minicon, unfortunately. But, there is one thing that he does have. Backwards compatibility. You see... Why this is removable? Is to accommodate his other super modes because he has more than one. So he has a combination with Jetfire, 
and combination with Armada Overload. And he can actually uh, fit, probably on this or somewhere back here, the original Armada Overload toy. Which, unsurprisingly, actually got a repaint at some point as Ultra Magnus. Because if it's related to Optimus, it's going to become an Ultra Magnus somehow. Yeah, so that's going to be the place for a new Jetfire chest. And then his legs are going to be... It's a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole, whole big thing. So we have more to look forward to with this toy in the future. Hopefully they release a brand new Armada Jetfire in Legacy United is the next line that's been announced. Maybe they'll do a hopefully brand new Armada Overload as well. Wouldn't mind giving this guy some massive over-the-shoulder cannons and flight capabilities. Yeah. This toy is great. Besides the breakage, it really is a very solid overall package of like two different pieces that each have multiple like three modes that they can con then combine this may be another hot take but this guy does the power links thing and i feel like he was the progenitor to energon now this may be just be a stretch but like what was energon optimus prime doing not the same power links he was a tubby guy who had vehicle drones attached to him but the deluxes of Energon, the ones that turn into a shirt and pants, I feel like they all came from this idea. So, maybe it's a hint we'll get some Energon at some point. I don't know. Does anybody want Energon anymore? I mean, I could use some in the morning to wake up when I have to go to work, but I don't drink coffee. So. <laughs> um, yeah. I recommend this guy. If you're a fan of Armada. If you want the original Armada Optimus Prime, but with more articulation. This guy, unfortunately, sacrifices a lot of the gimmicks of the original toy. Like the automorph and the catching on fire. What was that? Catching on fire? Huh. I don't think a toy is supposed to do that. But... So, we'll see where we go. I'm happy with him. I'm going to leave him in this mode, most likely, because it's his most articulated mode. But he is overall very fun. Just as a transforming toy. Like, he does a lot of transforming. He does it very simply, but very satisfyingly. Like, if that makes any sense. It's just like a, yeah, that, especially the uh, latching on to the super mode, that looks, that's really cool. Mind you, I wish you could cover up these fists somehow. There is a third party add on kit that for some reason covers up these gray bits and that actually adds articulated hands, but like the gray bits are actually show accurate. That's what they look like. That's one of the biggest wastes of an add-on kit I've ever seen, like, other than the articulated hands, which are kind of necessary. Like, it's just a, a lot of small things that go, why? I'm probably not going to get that add-on kit. I think I've rambled on way too much about this guy. He's good. If you can find him, go get him. Check out the robot scrapyard. I don't know if they still have any, but buy from him anyway. Uh, I'll be seeing him in a few days from the recording of this. Uh, from Merman, not Aquaman. No. We're not going to... He, he does not look like Jason Momoa. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching. This guy's due for an upgrade. Tune in next time. You'll see. Maybe. Maybe not.
but actually, yes, it heals. All right. Keep it weird. Bye.